Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, and now that we've gotten all that stuff out of the way, we can start with the chapter, the main meaty parts of it. Uh oh, we're outside some big ass place. Is this the place? And Zorn's like, of course it is, Ike. It's a fucking big ass place with a heavily guard guard infestation. Oh, oh really? Zorn's that confident. Holt! Who goes there? What are you doing? This villa is the property of Duke Tennis. It's the center of the Empire. No trespassing. Uh-oh. I am Ike, of the Grail Mercenaries. Uh-oh. And Ike's like, under the orders of the Apostle. And, of course, what? The Apostle sent you... Uh oh shit. Um, just, just wait one moment. Uh-oh. Miss is like, uh... All right, brother. We'll sneak around... Around out here and see what we can see. Uh oh. Good idea. And of course, Titania is like, leave it to us. Since we, I got bent so freaking hard, all we can do is sneak around duty now. Miss, let's get going. Don't be trying to drag me to the bench. That's what she really said. And Oliver, what's up? You creepy old fat fart of a man, you. What is this I hear? That you guys like claim to be here on an apostle's business? We have a letter here that bears her seal. Yep, that's kind of big ass proof right there. <laughs> well, I see. It appears genuine. Very well. Am I in a position to ask what exactly am I expected of doing? Uh oh, and of course Zorn's like, we're here just to. Man, I really just want to fucking kick your ass right now. But, Zorn's like, do you honestly think we should take this matter outside? Uh oh! No, no, of course not. Never. I would never insult. Please, come inside. Yeah, boy. Oh? Slavery? Me? The apostle wouldn't honestly accuse me of such an unfashionable thing as slaveholding? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. And of course, Ike's like, you don't, you haven't been doing this, even though your house is creepier than hell. I've shown you every root nook of my mansion, every cranny. I've been most thorough, have I not? And you saw no trace, not a single sign of any Lagoose here, did you? I'm surprised you didn't show us the room upstairs. Hmm? That is true. This ac accusation is absolutely ridiculous. To think that I, a bishop who serves only the Apostle Will, would do anything to violate her country's Emancipation Act. Oh, brother. So it looks like Oliver's like, you know what, I'm not, I'm just gonna say it outright. The apostle is just fucking idiot. I, I tell her that the, that the, this dupe did not fuck up. It was not even a, oh god. Uh, um, Ike, step away slowly. Step away. Step away. Ugh, stay, stop that. Back off. God. We have little choice, do we? Uh oh. Zorin. It feels like you don't want to give up, and I know I doesn't. Hey, Holt! You can't go in there! Why? Who? What? When? And Ike's like, what? Mist! How you doing? And Ike's like, what is it? Like I saw him in the room at the top of the floor, top floor of this building. I saw something. Something. Someone that... Oh, wow. So Mist is saying that someone from the bird tribe, and he was apparently planning to jump out a window. <laughs> And Oliver's like, what? What is this? This child babbling about? Someone from the bird tribe, can you describe him? Um, he had long hair, and it was sparkling like gold in his skin. It was so freaking pale, like translucent. Oh, and his wings, they were pure white. Uh oh. Words out. <laughs> it looks like tight. It looks like Miss has a witness. Titania, the bench lady. And it looks like Zorn's like, you know, this is kind of bad for you, isn't it? So yeah, he pretty much, Zorn just pretty much tells about the royal hero and family having white wings and that, uh, Oliver is pretty much, pretty much screwed right now. What is it gonna be, Duke Tannis? You can cooperate and show us this room that you somehow forgot, or... Guards! Kill them! Oh, don't let a single one escape! Oh, of course. So this is how you want to play that. I thought it might come to this. Mercenaries, it's time! I wanna kick some ass! And I can holy shit some of his forces. So it looks 
like Oliver has is running off like a little pansy. Yeah. We need to take that road. Who the hell was this guy? Dev Dan. Dev Dan hears the sounds of battle. Dev Dan is probably gonna speak in third person for the rest of this game. You dare to bring conflict into Bishop Oliver's home? The Mylands will make you pay for your impudence. Oh boy. And of course that guy has a line name. But yes, here is the next chapter, guys, and this chapter is going to require some serious thought, because here's some things that you have to consider. You have three chests, two chests right here. You probably have some chests in this room, and you definitely have some chests in these, this room over here. <clears throat> here's the thing. Beef is going to pop up right around here. He's going to go up here and steal this shit. And he's going to come down here and steal this shit. And likely he's going to make a beeline for the door. So this is what you want to make sure you do. Move quickly. But at the same time, move safely. And luckily I have Icon friends. Well, I'm not the beginning yet. I still have to prepare, damn it. So yes, I'm going to have to figure out who to take with me. <laughs> From what I understand, Void's coming. Zorn's coming. Yeah, you definitely need Zorn for a couple reasons. Though you can also take some other characters, like, for instance, Zoran, or Sword, Soth. But I'm pretty sure this thief here is not going to probably get used much unless you are in the process of training him. You're also going to need a thief. I mean, if you have Zoth here, I guess you can kill two birds with one stone in that respect. I would also suggest guys on horses, because that will give you the good mute movement range that you'll need. <coughs> see the Kieran and I feel like Astrid is going to be, be meeting up with the uh, the so-called bench soon because I don't know if I can focus on her unfortunately I don't know we're gonna bring Braum with us the fiend Braum. uh gosh man this is where it gets, starts to get tricky I'm picking your units I do need a healer though Rise, you kind of need to get levels. <coughs> and Zahark and Maya. Hmm. That's another chip freaky call. Do, 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 do. Let's get you, let's get Jill in here since that means more movement. <coughs> so we have these guys, we have axe users, and we have some wizards up at the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to reposition people. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to bunch up the movers really close to the front. And we're going to switch, uh, let's see. I'm going to put Jill in the back. I have, like, have the guys on horses in front along with Brom. And I think I might give Brom the boots. Because, God forbid, he kind of needs that damn movement. Because, uh, I definitely think Brom deserves some love, and he deserves to be the general of my army, but if it comes to him just slacking off so horribly that uh, we have a problem, changes might have to be made, and that will be quite some seriously fucked up changes, but nevertheless, I think this might be a good start off, starting army, putting your guys in front, putting board and Ike next to each other, putting your mages behind, and, uh, maybe having your, having your weaker, but not, or your units that you're trying to build up behind the main guys. And, of course, having your thief moving forward as much as possible. Alright, but yeah, let's look at this map. First off, we got Devdan. He's pretty much, as you can probably guess, he might be joining your party, and he seems to have very respectable stats, but look at that. Look at the fact that he's in Halberder. And with these stats, these are stats you might expect Naveen to have at like level 20 or something. Let's compare. Yeah, Naveen's starting to get up there, so Dan might be not something you should invest in. He does have a heavy spear, which is nice to have. But uh, the only thing that Devdan really seems to have good going for him is luck. Because his luck seems to be higher than most. Yeah, his luck is pretty damn high, because he's beating out all outer units big time. So yeah, 
just that man's pretty much big, big trait. And then if we have this wonderful boss up here, who has pretty decent stats for a general. I mean, that's pretty strong, pretty decent defense, but I think Braum has the same defense, so this guy might have some flaws to show for, but he does have this very dangerous weapon called the Spear, which he can hit one or two spaces away, so be careful with that. And of course, you have all these wonderful knights just stacked around here, and guys with long swords, so you want to be careful around here, you want, and armor slayers too, be careful of these guys. They can fuck you up your day. But, let's get started after saving our game real quick. Nah, I think we're good. Let's fight! Kick some ass! <clears throat> Alright, so let's move... Let's move the guys with spears forward. Cause they need to kick some ass. Ding, ding, ding. So yes, we have our first movements and... It seems that the music might have, have changed a little bit. Interesting. This is where the music kind of stays changed for a little bit. Alright, let's try to keep track of these guys' movements so I don't happen to throw a Volk into the line of fire. I would love to try to maybe get some use out of him and have him kick some ass, but I just do not trust Volk all that much in terms of killing things. Unfortunately. But yeah, you definitely want to try to get your movement get your units moving fast and early, because if you slack off, you're gonna have those thieves just trying to fuck up your day, and you don't want to have thieves take your wonderfully good stuff that you were so fighting for. It looks like Oscar's taking heat, damn it. <coughs> Oscar kicks some ass. Ow. Bitch. Yeah, there we go, Oscar. Win a pump. I won't be impressed if you don't next stab Oscar. Oscar is taking a lot of heat. Crap. Mm, there we go. Alright, so Oscar is doing a good job fending off the damn knights. Looks like we got some easy kills up ahead for anyone else. Crap. Mm, there we go. So Oscar gets some experience. He weakens three guys, and looks like we got the crowd coming in. Walk. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna have, uh, Kieran help kick some ass over here. Double. Hmm, might get a miss, too. Let's, let's kick some ass. Come on, Oscar. You can kick his, you can kill him. You can possibly kill him. Mm, punk. Oh, nice. Miss. Dang. Alright, take, that guy's pretty much screwed if we can charge forward and kick some ass. And I think I'm gonna move Kieran right here. Okay. Bro, if you kill this guy for me real quick with the Rolf's bow. I probably should have gotten a better bow for Rolf. Oh, critical hit. Dead. Alright, good job, Rolf. One down. We can pretty much... I'm pretty sure we can add to that. This guy's probably dead. Ooh, wow. Double... Doubling. Hopefully this guy... Hopefully Braum doesn't have to worry about the doubling thing. Dead. <coughs> Dude. And I think Naveen can probably take up or take out the next guy, and then we can just keep moving on here. Or better yet, Joey, since you kinda need the experience. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. And then maybe the fiend can just throw javelins at the guy with the axe. Dead. Three down. Sweet. So yeah, taking your charge forward is probably the best bet here. Don't be hesitating at all. Just move forward, kick some ass, and keep moving forward. That's all I have to say, really. Can you make it? There we go. That's awesome. And I'm gonna heal up Oscar, because he still has what, he still has some jobs to do, like kicking more ass up front. Okay. Well, that's not good. Alright, let's try the, let's try the, the uh, javelin option. Oh, Nafeen, you won't be able to kill this guy, but at least you'll be able to poke him with two javelins and weaken him up for anybody now. Jeez. Aw, oh, damn it, javelin broke. Wait. Volk can kick some ass now. Girl, there we go. 
Good dodge. Bam. Bam. 